Hello everyone. We're going to make a golf ball and to do that we're going to add mesh Ico sphere where we're going to subdivisions to the left. We're going to choose four. Before we do anything else, we go to modifier and we're going to add subdivision surface where we left view standing to one and rendering to two and we say apply. Now if we go now to edit mode and we look carefully, you already see the six addons on the screen. Now what we're going to do is we're going to vertex selection over here. We right click on that vertex, but this is a normal hexagon, but you see one small or a few small ones we're going to select the center of these two. To do that, we hold, hold down the shift button and right click on that point too. Now we've selected both of them. These are the two different types on the ball. Now we're going to select everything and to do that we go to select. Select similar and we're going to say amount of connecting edges. Now we selected every point. Now we're going to delete them and we're going to delete. To do that, we use the dissolve voltage, where we deselected every or deleted every uh, voltage concerning that. Now we press A to select everything. Now you see that the hexagon have different points in the middle. We don't want them, so we're going to press delete, and we say limited dissolve. Now all the other points are gone. Now the only thing that we left to do is now press E and press E again without doing anything. Now, if we're going to do that again because we're going to zoom in a little bit so we can see what is happening. Press E and E again. Now, we can make the edge large or small. This is small and this is large. Now, we go to, s to do something looking like this. Left mouse click and then press S. We're going to bring it to the center, but we bring it to the center not a lot. Not like this, it's too much. But something looking, oh sorry. It's outside, it's more inside. Something like that. Left mouse click. Now we go to the modifier again, where we're going to add modify the subdivision surface. Where we're going to bring it to, let's see, 3 and rendering also to 3. And we say apply. Now we go zoom out again. Go to object mode. We already have our gold ball. You see, it's looking. The, the depth of the holes are depending on what depth you have used. Uh, and now we're going to add a material. What we're we going to say? This is a white creamy ball. I'm going to select white intensity maximum but no specular now we're going to switch off the shadow okay now going to press n camera lock cursor on the screen zero on the gnome key path now we're going to bring the ball into the center looking like this Okay, press cursor on the screen, zero again, unlock camera. Now we have to put the light somewhere. We're going to position it somewhere over here. Where is it? A little more to downsize. Shift D to, br to bring another one to the, to the opposite side. Bring it down also. So we're going to lighten both of the sides. Uh, you can do this much better than I can. And so we're going to add a green grass looking plane. So we're going to add a plane, bring it down underneath the ball, press S to enlarge it. As again, sorry. Now we're going to add material, bring that up say green and make dark green looking field we 
without intensity uh, without shadow of course and if we now let it render I think everyone knows it already to do but if you don't pay attention to the output this is where your rendering photo will be posted and then choose over here the format you want in my case it's a JPEG file and let's render it and this should be the result I don't know why it's taking so much time because I see that the lightning is not that good but you have a pretty good idea of how making a golf ball thank you for watching and please enjoy the rest of my videos subscribe to my channel bye